Hi guys, welcome, welcome. My name is Anna and I'm a makeup teacher and creator, mostly and specifically for people with hooded eyes. And today we're going to talk about a topic that is also very frequently talked about on my page, on my channel. It is skin texture. As you all know, I have textured skin and obviously I have struggled with it my entire life since I was like 12 years old. So for 20 years, oh my God, that sounds so major. <laughs> I have learned to live with it, to use good skincare, to use good makeup products, to use amazing techniques. And I love my, my textured skin. I do not mind it at all. And I love sharing this with you guys, especially when I know that I've helped so many of you to accept the skin you're in. That is honestly reason number one why this is my job, right? <laughs> what I wanted to talk about today is that we never ever see skin texture represented in media, in social media, unless it's, I don't know, a product that is designed to help skin texture, right? I have seen this beautiful, amazing, major makeup tutorial by Painted by Spencer. I am going to put a short form video of his on the screen here, but he has also posted a long form YouTube video on this. What a beautiful, gorgeous, stunning model with textured skin. She looks real. She looks stunning. She looks beautiful. This makeup looks amazing. Amazing. The products he's using, I love them. I have like probably half of them and the other half I just found products that would basically be dupes. Without further ado, we're going to be recreating this look on my textured skin. We're going to be trying out Spencer's techniques. We're going to see if they actually work on my textured skin and we're going to recreate this beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous makeup look. So they started with the Elemis cleansing balm, which is my favorite cleansing balm, but I just finished mine. And honestly, I only use cleansing balm to take my makeup off. So it was really interesting that he used it basically on her bare skin. I have not tried that out yet and I'm not gonna do it today. I just clean my skin. So, you know, my skin is clean and that's <laughs> the most important part here. But the next step is moisturizer. And he was using this gem right here, Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream with SPF 30. When I tell you this is my favorite, 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 top, top, top moisturizer ever, I literally was so happy that he used it because I totally understand the hype behind this product. Obviously, sometimes I recommend you guys way less expensive products because I understand that this is quite a hefty sum of money to spend on a moisturizer. It's not necessary to purchase this specific moisturizer, but because he used it, we're going to use it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it right through here. What I love about this product is that indeed, it does not leave your skin oily or greasy or anything like that. It moisturizes it, it gives your skin that hydration and believe it or not, textured oily skin still needs that hydration and OMG, it smells so good. And yes, it also has SPF 30, which I honestly always forget. And I still go with another SPF on top, which is probably not a bad idea. Nonetheless, highly, highly recommend this product, you guys. It is amazing. In terms of makeup primers, he uses the iconic Smashbox primer. I do not own that one, so I figured that I would just grab something from my collection that is going to provide the same effect. So I'm gonna start with the Laura Mercier. This is their new pure canvas primer. This is the blurring one and I adore, adore Laura Mercier primers. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and just go ahead and rub it into my skin, kind of spread it all over for a nice matte canvas. This is really nice. I've already tried it on the other half of my face and I'm like, yes, Laura is always giving us everything we want. And you would be totally fine with just using one primer, but because this is my first time using this primer, I wanted to also apply something I'm familiar with and I know that works really well with texture. So I'm gonna go with Benefit Professional Primer, but this I am only going to concentrate on the most textured parts of my face, like the cheek right here where I have really enlarged pores as well as the forehead. In terms of foundation, they're using another super iconic product, Double Wear Foundation by Estee Lauder. And I used to have it in my kit, but I think that this foundation is just a little bit outdated and I don't have it anymore. It is phenomenal, but I just don't have it in my collection. So I picked out another thin but matte foundation, which is going to be 
bare minerals, bare pro 24 wear skin perfecting matte liquid foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations of all time. And I figured that this will play the same role as double wear in his video because it will give us that same effect. And we first are going to apply it with a brush and kind of press it into the skin. Just work it into the skin. I'm using the Makeup by Mario brush. I really love it for foundation application. So I'm not trying to overdo it because we're all going to apply concealer after. This feels nice. My skin looks so matte and so nice after those primers. And I am going to go ahead and just make sure everything is even and use a sponge to spread that foundation. I love that there's not a glimpse of oil. Everything is nice and matte and already smoother. I already feel the techniques and the products working. It's magic. Now, I couldn't be happier with Spencer's concealer of his choice. Literally my favorite concealer in the world as of now. So I am also going to use the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. And I'm going to apply it under my eye just to brighten things up. And I'm going to blend it out with a brush. This one is also by Makeup by Mario. I'm going to press that in. And I do love me a brush right under eye so I'm just working in sections and blending that out and bringing it upwards to create that lifted effect I'm gonna do another layer with an even lighter and brighter shade and just concentrate it right in this area. To set the under eyes, we're gonna use the Huda Beauty Powder. Mine is in the shade Cherry Blossom Cake and I never set my under eyes with this powder, even though I know it's good. I use pressed powder for my under eyes and then I love this for the entirety of my face. But Spencer said to use this powder under my eyes, so I will do so. His wish is my command. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that on a brush and I'm going to start setting just the under eye area because we're going to use a totally different product for my face. This is so finely milled, so obviously it's a really really nice product and it works beautifully now the next step in his tutorial is powder powdering the face and if you know me you know that i love my cream contours cream bronzers cream blushes cream products and i know that it's very common to say that you cannot use those products on textured skin however personally i love using cream products on textured skin and i will not stop doing that but as i am following this tutorial i am going to totally only follow the steps that a genius makeup artist Spencer used and the steps and the techniques that he used. So we're going to powder next. And instead of an actual powder for the face, he actually used a powder foundation by Makeup Forever, which is very interesting, very intriguing. And I've never tried that in my life. I've never even thought to try that, but it's really, really cool. So he says that if you use this powder foundation with a dense brush, and you set your face with it, it is going to blur your skin. It is going to set everything, create a long wear makeup base and all of that. And honestly, as I'm doing it and I've already done the other half, I totally see what he's talking about. The texture is almost nowhere to be found. It is very matte, very blurred, and I know that my oils are not going to come through this layer, at least not for the first several hours. So I can totally see myself using this as powder more often because I love this technique. Honestly, out of all of the techniques I've already used, this is the most like interesting, new, and fun technique for me, which I am definitely going to continue to do. So next step is applying bronzer, bringing some warmth to our face, bringing some color to our face. And he's using the one size bronzer, which I do not have, but I really want to try it out because it looks so cool. I'm just going to go in with my trusted, my favorite bronzer ever. This one is by Pat McGrath in the shade Nude Honey. Yes, in the shade Nude Honey. I'm going to take my brush and just warm up my skin like I usually do, but without cream bronzer, which feels like I am back in like 2017 where I did not use any cream products and I would only use powder products. And honestly, honestly, cutting those couple steps is kind of nice. 
feels like I'm gonna be finished with this makeup way faster than usual without adding those layers. But again, cream products and then setting them with powder products is going to help you and your makeup to be way more long wear. I forgot that I was supposed to leave the side blank for the short form content, but oh well. So this is our bronzer. Love, 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 love this shade. Like, come on. Now we're gonna go in with powder blush. And he was using the Patrick Ta blush, but in a different shade. But also the models, like skin tone and features are totally different from mine. So that shade looked beautiful and gorgeous on her. But I'm gonna use the shade that I have that I think is going to suit me just as well. And this is the shade She's a Doll. This was the first like viral, super iconic Patrick Ta blush, as far as I remember. So I'm gonna grab my my favorite favorite blush brush by Morphe and I'm going to start placing it above that bronzer and this is just going to bring that freshness that youthful look I love this blush I haven't used it in a while as well I'm thinking about picking up a couple or just one of the new shades I'm kind of in a low buy right now just because I don't want to be spending so much money on makeup when I have this much makeup and when I get sent makeup all of the time so we'll see about that maybe i'll pick up one shade that is totally different from this one um on the sephora sale but how stunning and then what he does next he does baking which i don't even remember last time i did that but i'm gonna do that i'm gonna bake under my eyes honestly i feel like this works for people younger <laughs> for people who are 20 because i have so many fine lines there this is not gonna look pretty but i'm still gonna do this and then bake the side of my nose as well i just want the authentic experience and repeat every single step oh, this powder is so fragranced but it's so good <coughs> we're gonna bake i guess we're gonna have to do our eyes before we get rid of this baking so stay with me so for the eyes honestly this look is so stunning and so spectacular I, and i was shocked at how easy the steps are so let's try and do this so do you mind so he's starting with an eye paint and i do have these by half magic beauty this is chrome addiction in the shade crown please so this is what i'm gonna use as my base today i'm gonna go ahead and apply some right here on this palette and then i'm gonna pick it up on a brush make sure i have my mirror here <laughs> my little setup and i'm gonna start applying it right on the eyelid and just diffuse it completely so we don't have any harsh edges to make sure that we just have that clean base and this is just going to make eyeshadow application that much easier because we already have a color base we don't need to try so hard if that makes sense <laughs> i'm gonna do a little second layer just to make sure that we get the vibrancy we need and also pick up a large fluffy brush to make sure that all of the edges are properly diffused Oof, love this color so i don't have the palette that he used on the model so i'm just going to use a combination of the palettes that i own to find shades that look like those but he is using the pretty grunge i believe palette by huda beauty so if you have that one be my guest and use it i'm gonna pick up my Chrome by natasha denona since i also love this palette and never ever get to use it so i'm kind of pumped i'm gonna use this light lilac shade and i'm going to first kind of start setting the eyeshadow Ooh, that's gorgeous and also diffusing the edges and this is going to be the transition shade isn't that just fantastic are you kidding me love this now for the outer corner we need to use this deep plum kind of shade so i'm actually going to dip into the my dream palette by natasha denona and this shade right here called edgy and i'm going to carefully with a small brush start setting that part right here and diffusing everything kind of creating a smoky wing liner but obviously not as deep as we are going to make it when we add black eyeshadow but yeah this is the goal and i'm just going to carefully carefully blend it out and add as much of that shade as i would like to this is stunning. I missed playing with purples. I did play with purple like a week ago, but <laughs> still missed it. For the shimmer shade, obviously I thought what better brand to use than to use Huda herself because she creates these magnificent, gorgeous, stunning shimmers. And we have a couple that I'm thinking between. Maybe this one, honestly. These two. I don't know which one. 
this one. We're gonna go with this one. And I'm going to try and not overdo it. And then also maybe add Space Cowboy on top just for that sparkle because that's the effect we're looking for. We don't want the opacity, we want the sparkles. So I am literally just going to apply it all over the lid. This is gorgeous, by the way. So, so stunning. We're definitely going in with Space Cowboy for that extra, extra sparkle. Oh, I love this look already. Are you kidding me? Why is it always like the most simple things and looks just make me feel this way? So gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this Space Cowboy cowboy this is a single by urban decay in case you're from another planet because people have been talking about this for a decade already so i'm gonna go ahead and apply that on top and this is giving me exactly what i wanted it to give don't you just love when that happens beautiful ethereal sparkly dream we're gonna use black eyeshadow to create an eyeshadow wing but also smoke it out like immediately so I'm not even trying to make it look like a wing. I'm actually just smoking it out to make sure that we get that diffused look. And I'm going to also stamp it kind of along my lash line. I prefer to still use like a pencil or a liquid liner, but for the sake of this experiment and tutorial, we are going to use just the eyeshadow. I'm going to use the same mascara they used in the tutorial, which is the YSL Beauty Lash Clash Mascara. This is a good mascara. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I just have more longwear mascaras that I prefer to this one, but I know that this one has a lot of fans. The volume that this mascara gives actually freaking insane amazing amazing forgot about that all right let's apply a lash so he was using ardell lashes so i decided of course i'm gonna go for an ardell as well but this is my favorite style this is 424 so i'm gonna cut it in half and apply half lash on the outer part of my eye even though i don't even need it the lashes look so good but i still am gonna do that okay we have to get rid of this bake because i cannot I cannot do this anymore. It doesn't look bad at all. Like it looks beautiful, but it's just, it's powder on your face sitting. <laughs> the slash is looking amazing. Let's do the lips. So he used one of my favorite lip liners ever. This is by Buxom in the shade High Def Honey. So we're gonna go ahead and line the lips. I love the applicator on this. It's super, super long wear. And there's also a brush on the other side. So we're gonna do this. This is quite warm brown on me. So I pulled out a cooler tone lip liner to pair with this. I don't know if I like need a cooler toned lip liner, but let's just do it anyway. So this is by Half Magic Beauty, their new You're My Taupe lip liner. And it is stunning. It is gorgeous, OMG. So I'm just gonna barely kind of like line just to give some coolness to the outline of my lips. Nothing major, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna use a baby doll type of gloss that he used in his tutorial and i thought this tower 28 lip softy tinted lip treatment in watermelon kiwi is going to be just perfect for this this smells so good yes it does smell exactly like watermelon and kiwi this is the most feel good lip product ever i'm also going to apply a little bit of this Give Beauty gloss in the shade Sweet Tooth because I love, 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 love how light this is and it's like perfect for this look. Just for the center to make it even lighter. Wait, I love this lip combo. I'm gonna finish the other eye and come back and show you the final look. Team, we have arrived. Wow, I have been humbled. I came in here so cocky thinking I know exactly how to work with skin texture, thinking I know all of the good products and I'm gonna nail it. But actually, I've learned so much from this tutorial and I will continue to be using these techniques and these products because my skin looks and feels spectacular. Like I'm doing this and there's no cakiness, there is no oiliness. I feel really, really beautiful. The skin is blurred, the skin looks natural but also like i'm wearing makeup you know what i mean i absolutely love the results honestly and the eye look is just a slay i'm gonna recreate this look in every color possible because wow just wow this is what happens when you follow a tutorial of a true makeup genius painted by spencer um thank you this is a personal thank you from me to you because 
this is amazing my mood is through the roof i'm gonna go walk my dog and make myself some dinner anyways thank you so much for watching you guys i'm going to leave all of the products and maybe some of the stuff that i'm wearing and all of the makeup products that i'm wearing down below in the links check out my codes as well you really help me and my channel out if you use my codes to purchase some products thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye